Hi YouTube, thanks for getting here with me today. Uh, I have in my most recent videos discussed what I thought was the answer to the whole issue of Thomas Bruce committing the Delphi murders. Thomas would have had to go through Delphi, Indiana en route to see a family member, which I felt would have to live either in A, Michigan, or B, Upper Indiana. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I now give you the answer. Thomas Bruce does have a brother living in Upper Michigan and Fort Wayne, Indiana. Now sit back, take a sip of wine or whatever drink you might be holding in your hands for like coffee like me. This is where it gets highly interesting. I went to Google Maps and I entered the city from where Thomas Bruce comes from currently, Imperial, Missouri. I then entered into the driving directions to Fort Wayne, Indiana. I then punched the old enter key for the route it gives. Ready? Bam! Right here it is. No, it passes right by Monon High Bridge Trail. Already, smiley face. I don't say shit out of context. Nor do I say shit I don't mean. I told you I knew full well he was in Delphi, and guess what? Here's some of your proof. Look at it. Stare at it. Take it in. Breathe it. Know it. Live it! This Charles Eldridge stuff has got to go. It took me far less than five minutes of looking into him to say this fucker didn't commit shit in Delphi. That's all it took me. Five minutes of looking to say he didn't do it. Yeah, Charles Eldridge is a child molester. He's that kind of a piece of shit. But he didn't go to Delphi and commit the murders there. That was done by Thomas Bruce, as I have said. If you are still under the impression that it is Charles Eldridge, then please comment below how dumb I am, how I just speculate, how I don't know Jack Friggity Dog Do. Now I am not, nor would I ever give Thomas's brother's name that lives in Fort Wayne. He is findable. He is findable. If you want to go look and you got two fucking brain cells to throw together, you can find this person. But he didn't do anything, and I'm not going to give his name out so that people can harass him. I'm not doing that. But this I'm telling you right now, he has a brother that lives in Fort Wayne, and he was en route to his house when he passed by Adelphi. Thomas Bruce had filed bankruptcy in January of 17, and he resigned from his job shortly thereafter. And he had to travel to his brother's house in Fort Wayne, crossing right by Monon High Bridge Trail on his way through Indiana. Probably stopped, got drunk up a bit, then started stalking the trails looking for an opportunity. Answer me, trolls. Are you happy now? Do you still have more shit to say? Do you come to my channel to be a douchebag? I'm waiting for your comments because I have a solid surprise for you. I really do. It's an honest surprise. Please leave me that one little comment that tells me you're one of my little trolls. As for the rest of you fantastic subscribers, I bid you a fair adieu today. Take pleasure in this. This is the answer I wanted and got. And it tells me beyond anything else, Thomas Bruce is fully responsible for the Delphi murders. This has been Michael J. Cat, feeding you only the best pig, with no side word of a shit sandwich included. Peace, everyone.